Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Venice. Future Greece, I should call us. And where we last left our nation, we had beaten up on Byzantium and taken all of their stuff. And that's going to cause rebel problems for us. Um, Venice is not a nation that can really endure large conquests of non-accepted cultures with different religions. So, that will be a pain for us. For one, we got a tolerance of heretics minus one for being Catholics, so that's just three unrest right away. And, but actually, Greek is accepted culture, so at least there's that. And we're going to flip over to having that be our primary culture as soon as we can. Now, once we state this stuff up, that will give us a big boost. But we're going to have manpower problems. And we're going to have some financial problems for a little while. I paid off two of the loans. Hence, we're loyalty to anything but the Republic. Always clicking on their estates. You guys are, feel free to count how many times to do that. By the way, I'm expecting a phone call sometime today. Fancy had to take her car in, so if I get a phone call, I I will actually be answering it. Whoops. Let me do that. So stop back and Nexus. I meant to actually We separate these. And we are going to split them in half. Hunt pirates in Alexandria for there. And then we're going to hunt pirates in Venice for that one. Yeah, so anyway, I've got my ringer on intentionally, so normally silence up. So hopefully that's not annoying. And I have to. Silence the phone, or sorry, yeah, silence the mic for a few. And pause it. That's the reason why. Okay, let's try to bring down that corruption. Eh. Okay. We Marked up. Like to get rid of these marks, but I'm not sure I could justify doing that quite yet, because we could have rebellions all over the place. So I think I'll just merge them down as they get beat up. I think I'm going to keep couple of our forts running. I don't think we need to worry about this. No one's going to sneak attack us. With our alliance system being what it is. Our orthodox zealots. We gotta get this converted. Dude, you're fired. Get out of here. Money will be a problem for us until we get decent manpower, get stuff converted, build up our fleet, get some ideas. As we get respectable income, we've also got really high expenses. Our focus is on Diplo at the moment. Dude, stop giving us the same garbage guy. Paradox. So, hang that because we could have rebels. Are you serious? I 
This is really important. We either need a theologian or an inquisitor. Okay, so they're at war with England because they allied. Wait, Hungary and France? Are you serious? Oh, come on. We had several hours to go, kitty. There we go. We can accept that one. We're not going to do the advancement of religion. Act. Sorry, I'm going to pass fight, kitty. Okay. Cat should leave us alone now. So we gotta get that military tech up. Ottomans are already at four. And they really want to kill us. Uh, those are peasants. So I'm not super concerned about them. Let's try to improve relations. I'd like to annex these two because they're such a drain on our tempo points. Get some mercantilism. Oh, we really should get these mercs over here. I want to fight him with real troops. It'd be good to suppress them down with troops anyway. Okay, there's some coring. Those guys are ticking downward. We're in separatists. That's gonna weigh. Even without trips there, it should be negative revolt risk. I'm not gonna start another conversion immediately. Para. Well, okay. Set them as friendly. And we definitely want them as friendly. But over the Ottoman issue, they're not going to ally us. Castile might. Here's in 66. Yeah, that's going to be well. Okay, one thing that we should do here is turn off that edict. And once we get this all stated, we can put that edict in place and start converting some stuff again. Right now, it would just cause us more rebel problems. I don't really want to do that. The Cretan Separatists. Uh, let's try to get rid of them. Just one, so four trips should be sufficient. Hopefully Austria's got a good alliance system. And I hope they get Burgundian inheritance. And early. Okay, do we want to conquer them? Nice. Let's do that. Okay. 
Okay. Britons went away. Let's just pull directly into port here. And let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> Ottomans are getting on their ships. We can't attack them, I don't think. Well, we could attack uh, Ragusa. That's what we could do. But they're in our trade league, so we can't. But. Yeah. Well. Poland would join. Race. Yeah, let's state that up. Okay, I think we can avoid an uprising here. Let's do outrage, because we did get a lot of aggressive expansion. Back up. Renaissance hasn't spawned yet. Get rid of those troops. So I think we can avoid the uprising. Manpower will be a problem, and we could always get more trips, but... If we had all those mercs, they would just cost us a bunch of cash. Ottomans won't be attacking us right now, so let's stop paying for that fort. Pull this guy back and start working on integrating the Naxos as well. We're making a little bit of money. I'm not even sure if we want this fort. It's just something for the enemy to siege down. I mean, it's nice that we could just move troops directly into it if they try sieging it and enjoy the Highland bonus. Nice. Oh, Castile got it. Okay, we really want that alliance with Castile. Good. Rival Kara. An insult, then we'll send an embargo, mission embargo. Plus one stability. Or we get 10 prestige. No, we get the stability. Okay, so Achaea. That's the one we wanted to convert anyway. Yeah, this is a pointless expense. Okay, we can't start annexing them yet. Let's just top this off a little bit more. And 
Let's get another unit of troops. Did not spawn in our country. Where did it spawn? Genoa. It's going to take a while to get to us. So we could develop down here. Benefit of doing that. Somewhere down here. As long as we've got it converted, it would be to increase the total amount of stuff that we have that is as great culture. We're going to hold off for a moment before we do anything. And try to get this whole area staged up and see if we can culture shift. We can get one more unit of troops. I think we're going to hold off and get some more manpower. Because we're going to try integrating in some people soon. Starting with them next year. Let's see. Anything to make them like us more? Answering trade power actually makes them like us more, so we're not going to try canceling that. I'm wondering if we could vassalize them at some point. Uh, we can bring them into our trade league? Sure. So that'll give us some trade power. Oh, I forgot. Issue that embargo. Make sure that steel has military access. Go ahead and state that up. Okay, so we're up to 36%. So if this wasn't such high development, well, maybe we could do it here. It's growing rapidly here. 2.22 per month. Let's just do institution spread in the state. Why is it growing so rapidly? Oh, because it's in the Venice area. Tuscan area. Okay, then we're just going to let it naturally grow up there. Do another ally. I'm hoping that they don't get any other sizable allies. So eventually we're going to have to take that from them, which is Epirus. This is all really high autonomy.
Wow. So Hungary and Teutonic Order are supporting the independence of them. And Poland didn't take their union. Hey, Hungary. That's how you want this to go down. Send this guy to protect trade in Venice. Definitely gonna set him return home if there's any damage. Okay, so are you involved in this? They're not involved in this. We might want to land down here, but it looks like they've got that covered. But we don't want a long drawn out war, so maybe we should land over there, rather than trying to land over here and take the coast. I don't think that's a good idea. Get these guys over to Constantinople. I'm just glad the Ottomans didn't join in. But that was Poland's fault for letting Moldavia get that much uh, liberty desire in the first place. Istria. At least they didn't go for our forts right away. Because, you know, we're not paying for them. We weren't. Ooh, that doesn't give us good retreat options. Okay, let's get an evil blockade here. I can siege this out. Not gonna help them much. Cause us a little bit of war exhaustion. And let's move these trips in. Let's keep these guys here. Poland's port. Hopefully, Poland just annexes them. Assuming we win this war. Oh. Uh, Hungary peaced out because they fell under a personal union with Austria. Nice. So that exiled these troops. <laughs> and that was a really dumb move on Teutonic Order's part. Okay, so our provinces got liberated. Austria, why would you do that? Obviously because there must be rivals with Poland, but... No, they're not. Why would you do that? Yeah, this is using up all of our manpower. Hey, at least they're not allied to Hungary any longer. Now Hungary would back us up. Okay, I think we've done our part. Keep an eye 
spread, 82%, 4.5. Uh, let's just wait until we embrace. There's no rush. Wait to the end of the month so we don't suffer as much attrition, hopefully. So we'll go straight into Constantinople for that same reason. Wait to the first of the month. Okay, we got 11 favors, I like that. Okay, uh, why don't we stop paying our troops? Stop paying for that fort and that one. They'd be a fool to attack us right now. Nice. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to pull these two back. Annexation. Annexation. I think we have a core on Corfu. So this should be instant. Let's take one month. And want to pay for that fort. Let's add this to the empire. Add that to the empire. Add that to the empire. Which means <laughs> we can add this. That. That. That to the Empire. And to Constantinople, yep. Yeah. We'll be able to do Naxos before too long. And let's. Ew, that's really bad. Two allies. Now, if we can save up some cash, we can embrace institution. Let's keep an eye on our time as well. Twenty-eight minutes. Let me stop here. Thank